Hey there, what are we doing today? Well, today we're going to do our December 2023 budget. So exciting. The last monthly budget of this year. Hi, my name's Lisa and as always, I'm super glad you're here today. We are an early 60s couple. I'm retired, my husband is working on slowing down a little bit. We're basing his income on four days a week as opposed to the five days a week he's working now. Next year, he's going to um, step back a little bit and that way we will still have our benefits. So that's important until we hit 65-ish. Okay, so let's get started. Um, if you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, I always appreciate you being here. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I hope you will consider that. That'd be great. And if you just watch, I appreciate you too so much. All right, his income is going to be $2,400. This is after taxes and deductions. My income is um, state retirement, Social Security. I took my Social Security early at 62-ish. And um, a Roth that I am pulling from. So let's, let's see what we have. My income is $2,598. And we add those two up. We will get 24 plus... We'll get $49.98. All right, giving is going to be $160. Cable and internet is $223. We'll always have cable and internet or cable. Ooh. We'll always have internet or a cable. Sorry, I was messing with the camera because my husband is just used to watching everything and he has his programs programmed and he's just now working on using the uh, Roku and exploring Netflix. And oh, I got to add Netflix to this. Uh, my daughter was when she lived with us back during COVID, we all kind of moved in together and she left her Netflix subscription here. I was able to use it for a couple of years, but they caught us. So now I have my own Netflix subscription and I have to write that in down here. Oh, that kind of changes it. All right, so we will add that to um, here. It was like $18, I think, plus 18. That's gonna make it 241. That's what we'll put. <sighs> you know, you just kind of wing it, don't you? All right, the pool is 150. Electricity, that is now currently 198. We pay um, monthly, but the bill is evaluated every quarter and we get an average bill based on our usage from the past quarter. So it was 268 and now it's 198. It went down $70. I think they just wanna keep you there. So you always owe them a little bit of money, but I've been very diligent about unplugging a lot of things I've read on or I've read or I've listened on YouTube that that's very helpful. I have the power bars and I just turn them off because I can't really reach over everything to unplug it. And I've started using my electric skillet more as opposed to using the oven. You know, it may help. I'll keep you posted, but we are in cooler weather. So the AC is not running like it was during the dead of summer. Probably like for um, those of you that live in the north, your, your heat is running or your you, you know, you're just having to adjust as the weather changes. So maybe your electric bill is a little bit higher in the fall and winter months. And ours is in the summer months because of the heat. So anywho, savings, we have automatic savings of $25. That's what we do at BOA. Our phones are $77. We are paying off the balance of my husband's cell phone. It was $7.99. And that is our only debt for right now. And currently that balance is 688.89. There's no interest on those payments. And if I just let the payments go, um, the extra payments go, it'd probably take us three years, but I'm, I'm going to get this paid off by December for sure. Um, even if I have to move money out of savings or whatever, because I really am going to change my plan to, gosh, I can't even think of it. I'll put it in here because you know, my mind goes blank when I start talking to you guys. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, the company that Ryan Reynolds represents. 
that's that's helpful all right our water bill is twenty dollars we do not have sewage we have septic natural gas is 15 it's usually around 11 or 12 dollars that's our monthly bill tolls my husband drives to and from work about 30 miles on the turnpike and some toll roads and that is usually we budget 100 it's it's a little less sometimes his gas bill is 400 i let him charge that using our boa cord because you can uh, choose what you want the rewards to be we get three percent back on gas so um, every month you can change it let's add those up real quick $13.86. All right, Ty, these, this is cash. This is all in the bank, and this is our cash area right here. I pull out $7.10 every two weeks. Uh, Ty, this is what my husband puts aside for the church, it is $2.40. Uh, gas for me, I pay cash because I don't do well with trying to manage my debt or my money on a debit card just not just not in my dna makeup so i use cash groceries is 600 a month but i think we'll be doing better than that um and whatever's left over i'll just move it over to savings challenges or the savings account pets this is for cat food dog food litter pee pads all of that and some grooming welding this is my husband's hobby we have to keep him happy he loves to weld that's his thing and this just allows him to accrue um, separate money wherever he wants to do with it um, to buy new little welding toys thingies eating out is a hundred dollars we usually spend this on the grandkids when we take them out but lately we've just been taking ourselves out and it's been kind of nice um, his walking around money is eighty dollars mine is eighty dollars we can do with that what we want save it spend it give it away it does not matter and my hobby is feeding the crows and i usually spend around $40 a month, 30 to $40 a month on peanuts. So let's add that up. It should be $14.20, not $14.21, but um, so that's $14. I hit the one by accident. Let's add those two up. And that's 2806, which is different than my total over here because I had to add in the cable. That's fine. It's okay. All right, sinking funds. I have a lot of sinking funds. Um, and that's okay. You know, and I enjoy them. Um, but I think I'm going to, like, every quarter just push all of the cash into the high yield savings accounts that represent these sinking funds and um, just go from there and just because of, like the car in the home i'm always seem to be pulling from for tune-ups or for home repair like we had to replace the, the glass part of the oven door thank goodness for youtube because we had good directions on that so all right the car sinking fund right now is going to get 120. Uh, home is going to get 120. Medical is going to get 100. Travel is going to get 80. I will bump this up in January for sure. Kiddos is 20. I'm just saving up for um, $500 for each of their graduations. I have a lot of time, but this just will help. Revolving is 280. Revolving. My revolving binder has a lot of little binders that the cash is coming and going. So. I like that too. Let's add that up. And that is 720. And that is correct. So um, if, if you noticed, maybe you did or you didn't, I had to add in my auto insurance as an electronic sinking fund. Um, last month or last week, it was like the, the 29th of November, we changed our auto insurance from Geico to State Farm, so it's no longer over here in the bills and expenses. It's just going to be a sinking fund. 
So it really is a bill and expense, just like our taxes and insurance. We don't have a mortgage, but we still have to pay our taxes and insurance. So um, I don't know if that's confusing for you. I, I know what it means to me. So we're gonna work with this until, you know, I don't like it. So our taxes and insurance, we had to bump that up a little bit. That is getting 360. I did pay my taxes. Um, we can pay by the end of November or in the December, you get a certain discount. So I got the full discount and I think my taxes were $1,900 for this house. So that is, um, it keeps going, uh, you know, it keeps going up. Not bad, you know, not complaining. I know we have a rental, it's my parents' house in Orlando and you know, it doesn't have a homestead exemption where you get a certain, you know, like a credit or whatever the homestead exemption is. And it's in a very um, desirable area. You know, my parents picked it out right back in 1970. The area doesn't change. They have great schools. It's, it's a beautiful neighborhood. It's kind of like timeless. Nothing changes there. And those taxes on that house are um, out of this world. In my opinion, for me, they're, they're over $5,000. And so just a 1,200 square foot home, three bath, one, oh, three bedroom, one and a half bath, two car garage, just regular house, $5,000. Good grief. So I'm very grateful that ours are only $2,000. Okay, auto insurance, enough of that. We're going to do 175. When we went to State Farm, our auto insurance decreased. Based on this, it was 214 minus 175. So we're saving, you know, $39 a month. And subscriptions, this is $80. I have had to go in and make a list of all my subscriptions and when they're due, because I really need to be more diligent with that. And I'm not, I just, you know, I'm like, la, 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 la. Clothing is going to get 120. I don't, I think we have like four or $500 in this. I'm just gonna let it grow. Um, because when my husband goes shopping, he goes shopping all at once. He gets everything all at once. He goes to whatever store. Where does he get his jeans at? Like, it's not Tractor Supply. It's another one near us. It's like Tractor Supply, but it's not Rural King. He likes their jeans. He goes and gets all his jeans there and his shirts because he's kind of big and tall. Um, boom. You know, he just spends a chunk of money there. And this way, I know I have it in my brain. That makes me happy. It's just sitting there and of course if we ever needed it for anything else we could pull it out and you know move the money but this is why I like having all of these little sinking funds because I guess that's how I think in my brain it's just like chink 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 so okay let's add that up who is chatty today me I had a lot of coffee evidently so that would be 735 and then I have my savings challenges, which help fund my sinking funds. Sometimes my sinking funds, you know, like my medical, I'm always trying to uh, get my medical deductible covered. That's a thousand dollars and my auto deductible covered. That's another thousand dollars. So these savings challenges are helpful, especially the blue binder that gets um, one that gets 280 a month. And you know, when, you know, those challenges become available or I complete them, then I just move the money over into whatever little sinking fund needs it, needs the attention. I love doing that. I love touching the money, counting the money, then moving the money. Holiday binder. This just covers the smaller holidays of the year. Very successful. Last year or this year was my full year of using it and planning ahead. I love it. I had enough money to do our holiday activities for Halloween and also for Christmas. I mean, we're not through with Christmas yet, but I love it. And this will be helpful when we take each other out for Father's Day, Mother's Day, and birthdays. So yeah, I'm not changing that. So that's gonna get 100 a month. The 100 envelope challenge, I just started that probably a couple months ago. That's low denomination. That's really fun and I am I am almost done with it because I needed to complete it to help fund one of my uh, savings accounts. I'm going to do it this year, uh, probably in January 2024, but not with um, such vigor. Maybe. I don't know. I just like, I, I really enjoy that challenge. Show me the love. That gets um, 160 a month. And that's where, you know, if 
if you're here every Monday with me, and I appreciate that you are, you leave a like, and then I have to pay myself a quarter for each like. Keeps me on track. I have to show up each Monday, and I have to be um, accountable for where my money's going. So I do it a lot for me, and it keeps me on track. I've, this is my second time around. You know that. If you've been here on Monday, you know that. Very helpful. Yes, too much coffee. 280 plus 100 plus 20 plus 160 is 560. So if we just broke down just the sinking funds alone, 720 plus 735, sinking funds alone is 1455. I'm just doing this so I know when I work on January's budget. And then my savings challenges are 560. So this whole side is planning for future costs. 1455 plus 560. So that's two thousand dollars. That is just for our future um, upcoming expenditures. That's pretty much my whole check or my whole income that I use for this budget. So yeah, and it could probably I could probably do less and really you know economize on these, but this is working right now and. You know, every month you just have to kind of change and go with the flow. So let's see. We have forty nine ninety eight is our income, and our debt is really this is just our debt. Our six eighty eight on that cell phone. That I'm really going to whittle that down. I hope to get it all paid off by moving some money around. So let's see. Okay, add these up. So we have the fourteen fifty five plus the five sixty. This gives this 2015. All right, and income, debt, bills, and expenses, that's 2806. All right, and our sinking funds, that is 2015. All right, yeah. So 2800. Oh, 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 oh. Plus 2015 is 48.21 and 49.98. All right, we'll take the income minus the 48.21. We'll leave us 177. And that will most likely, a great part of that will go towards a cell phone minus 177. So that would leave us a balance of 511. But that's the plan. So we'll see how it works out. And um, yeah, very cool. So yeah, I'm still working on my January budget, my January goals, or January goals, 2024 goals. And um, we'll uh, just see how it goes. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you like this video. Like, 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 like. And again, if you're not already subscribed, I invite you to do so. It's free. And if you're just a looky-loo watcher, because sometimes I am, that's great too. I appreciate you so much. Make sure you leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this budget. And are you ready for 2024? I am not. Are you ready? Let me know. All right, you guys. Have a super wonderful day. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.